Alrighty, I'm buddies up everybody. It is your boy Fire. Thank you once again for tuning into another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you my quick and simple mastering technique to actually really enhance your mixes. This is something I have been doing for a few months now, and I really can't finish a mix master without doing it. So with that being said, let's hop straight into it. Today we've got a session I've been working on for um, the Pro Tools beginner course and advanced mixing course. And uh, yeah, we've done a little bit of mix bus processing. I have this Isotope Imager plugin, which is what you're gonna wanna use for this technique to really work. Um, again, you can use any multiband widener because that's essentially what it is. We, we want the ability to um, manipulate each band separately, right? So there are Waves plugins that are going to allow you to do that. I think you can do it with the Waves um, Vitamin, right? It's kind of, it has a multiband stereo selection. Um, Tool. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. We'll play the track a little bit and then we'll bypass what we have going on and uh, we'll talk about what we're doing. So let's get into it. Racks all in my jeans, finna ball out in the summertime Heart so cold, got me feeling like the winter time Snakes in the grass and they're tryna take my soul away I can really think about it, feel like it was yesterday Yeah, I cannot explain, feel like everybody changed up I don't know her name, but on Instagram she famous I was down and out, all I needed was some patience We don't really talk, but I'm really glad you made it Bowling up the back road, you can smell the vapor Think I'm dust and Skater. I can really kick flip, I should sign a baker We've been chasing paper, I can't see a hater I, I, I be selling work now, call me on my jug phone Twin clock nights, baby, we are not alone I'm a demon slayer, baby, not afraid of the unknown Fast car So there you go, pretty simple, right? All we're really doing is we are enhancing our mix via widening Okay, so for those who don't know what an imager is Or a um, steel widener essentially is Is it it's a tool that basically allows you to manipulate the side channel of your mix. Now, the side channel of your mix is basically um, everything that is not mono, basically, right? Just to kind of make it simple for you to understand. So, you know, we have different elements in a mix that are going to be stereo, and we can actually manipulate those elements within the mix to make our song sound wider, to make it sound more three-dimensional, okay? Um, now, if you were to do this to a completely mono mix, nothing would happen, okay? You would just have... You know, you would just be boosting all of these um, kind of faders and nothing would happen, right? So you do need to have quite a already wide sounding mix, right? Now, you know, I like to have the beat sounding a bit wide. As you can see, I actually did manipulate the beat a little bit over here. You can see um, I had actually just turned off the bass, you know, and I didn't, I'd done a little bit of widening, but I'd used different frequency bands. Uh, because I had a specific job to do, right? I wanted to enhance certain elements of the mix. But on the master channel, which is what we're talking about, we want to be able to manipulate the vocals and all of our instruments together. And that's pretty much what we're doing here. So we'll kind of work from left to right. And then we'll, um, you know, we'll kind of talk about what we're doing. So the first thing that I like to do, right? And I learned this from people who master vinyl, is that whenever you're mastering vinyl, you cannot have anything in the low end actually be stereo. And so, you know, sometimes there are certain mixes that are gonna sound good if you're able to do this, right? So you can see, I'll just solo the bass, and you can hear, you'll see pretty much it'll be dead center in the middle because obviously everything is mono. Right, so you can see, right, so you can see all I really do is make sure that everything below 100, sometimes it might be 120, 130, 140, is in mono. Now, um, what you can also do if you don't have a stereo widener is you can actually use a, um, you can actually use a uh, EQ that has um, side channel uh, manipulation on it. So, for example, we can use the fab filter, right, um, right here. We can actually use this. Uh, in the side mode, right? So we could actually turn on, just get this out the way. We could just get, you know, something like this going on and then we could actually manipulate the side channel, right? Because that's essentially what we're doing. You know, it's just the isotope has a certain sound to it. So we could do something like this. Uh, let's go for 100. And then if you really wanted to make it kind of crazy, you could brick wall it, something at like 48K. Something more natural would be like 24, you know, 12. Would sound a lot more natural, but you'd get the same effect. You'd essentially be rolling off everything 
below a set frequency and that's really just going to help you clean up your mix it's going to allow your mix to sound a lot more mono compatible okay so that's what you can do right there that's another trick that you can make use of i like to mono the bass it sounds good it just helps your ears kind of focus on this section of the track right here and as you can see i'm doing the most widening in this particular instance um between 100 and 3000 hertz because i think it sounds really cool so if we were to solo the section out let's take a listen to that Famous. I was done and now all I needed was some patience We don't really talk but I'm really glad you made it Right, so you can't really hear too much of a change, but essentially what we're doing is we're taking all of those elements in that kind of region and then we're just widening it up a little bit, okay? We're not using the stereo wise function because all of our stereo elements are already there. We're just emphasizing that kind of, um, you know, uh, majority of the mix, right? The kind of weight and body of the mix. Sometimes you may want to actually um, mono in that section a little bit, right? You know, but in this instance, it sounds good. So, you know, that's what I like to do right there. Now it kind of comes to the the kind of uh, higher treble region and then the absolute treble region. And uh, again, we're just doing the same thing, right? Pretty easy. All we're doing is manipulating this section right here. So I was to, if I was to solo this section. Again, right, just a simple bit of widening. Again, you don't want to aggressively widen the extreme treble because what tends to happen is when you actually export your track to mp3 um, when you export to mp3 a lot of that side channel or stereo channel information will actually be kind of cut off and so the lower um, the resolution of your track that is played back on so for example if someone's listening um, you know to your track on Spotify at 64 kilobytes right because they're in an area without any network um, you may actually find that your track will actually sound a bit worse in this region so you don't want to overdo it as you can see right here I'm not doing much but again I'm sometimes adding you know some stereo widening on some hi-hats on a beat or something and, and widening it up a little bit can really add that extra layer to your track so you know this is my technique that you can make use of uh pretty simple you don't want to always overdo it i'm doing quite aggressively but um i tend to mix quite narrow and then boost the the the, the, the mix bus quite a bit um but you know you'll find what you like so if we were just to bypass this so you can hear you know we can really hear that vocal kind of fit into the mix we really hear all those elements start to get emphasized we hear that guitar kind of poking out if we kind of just listen to the beginning section of this track we can really hear that guitar opening up um, when we use this um, technique You know what I mean? So there you go, man. That's what I like to do. This is how I like to really start off my mastering sessions. I will tend to add this first. That way I can do all my EQ and kind of, you know, have that, that stereo fit going into the mix bus and really get that sound going. So yeah, man, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something. Definitely make sure to smash like below. Subscribe if you have not to the channel. I cover a lot of cool uh, rap vocal mixing techniques, punk rap vocal mixing techniques. Uh, we'll be using Pro Tools a little bit more. I see a lot of people wanting to learn Pro Tools, so stick around for that if you're into that, and I'll take you next time. Peace out.